So welcome to this year's New Year Year. So welcome to this New Year's vlog, which I will do together with Underbar Luther. And as always, uh, we will say what we can be found. But to not make this a whole long video where we say every name, I will just say this is my places where I can be found. Oh, and um, this is my places where I can be found. On Emma. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's start with answering your questions instead. For the first question, question which, which is from Asona and Melmiel. And they are asking, Dear Spacey, so nice to see you once again in December and you are so sweet here. Thank you. <laughs> and we also have some questions for you. One, I also love the manga Kasudo Kinuta, and you made two wonderful videos based on it. Could you tell in a video respond with what exactly you were stuck by Gilbert's story? Now, to answer this question, I have to go back to why I even started to read uh, Kasudo Kinuta in the first place. So, like, five, six, seven years ago, I don't even really remember anymore. Um, I uh, role-played uh, together with Firebirdie and I role-played with Haruka and by role-playing with her um, she got to know more about Haruka's story and that's how Haruka and Cheriot met through the role-play. So one day Firebirdie was looking through YouTube trying to find like Amvis and stuff like that and she stepped upon a short scene from a anime ova that she hadn't seen before but watching that scene made her think about Haruka and a part in Haruka's story that I have told her a while back <laughs> so she sent me the link to that short part of the OMV and while watching that scene I also saw the real big similarities with how Haruka is and that part of the Haruka story that, that was similar to this scene. <laughs> For those of you who have already watched the OMV of Kasuto Kinota, uh, I will tell what kind of scene that was. So if you haven't seen the OMV, you can just click on that link to skip this spoiler. Uh, or go to the time that I have written here <laughs> if you can't click the link or go to the link in the description so uh, so now spoiler alert uh, in this scene that she sent me um, Gilbert have just um, made a deal with the upper student so the upper student can make uh, search leave his dorm room by force because Gilbert is very uncomfortable with having another person in his room for reasons that you will probably figure out later on. So in this scene that she sent me the upper student has been hiding in the room and when Serge is sleeping he's coming out to do his deed and that is all I will say because if you have seen it you already know what happens and if you haven't seen it and still saw this part um, I have still not spoiled too much so after watching that scene I felt like I really needed to watch that anime the anime over so I did and after watching that I felt even more that wow this Gilbert character is very much alike Haruka. Like his behavior pattern, it's much like Haruka's behavior pattern sometimes. And I could also recognize myself a little bit in search. So I just felt like it was kind of personal. So feeling this personal about this, this anime, and because it was so short, because it just, just was just a OMV, I had to read the manga. So when I started to read the manga, I had a like really personal feeling about it already. 
And while reading it, I could see even more similarities with Harka and Gilbert, and it made it even more personal. And this is where it all started, where I really felt so deeply for the manga, and it even made me cry so many times, and I never cry while reading mangas. So, um, Gilbert became very personal to me, and the whole manga became very personal to me. So, I guess that is kind of the answer to the question. I hope it's a good enough answer. Two. What is the best winter's book? I like to read Taika Talvi by Tove Jansson in the winter. And you? I don't really have a book that I read every winter. So I don't really know what to answer. But yeah, Tove Jansson is really great. I love... Vem ska trösta knistet? Who will comfort Tuffle by her? It's my favorite book by her. But... Uh, it's nothing that I read every winter. I don't really have a book that I read every winter. Do you? No, I'm not much of a reader, but right now I'm sort of into Diana Gabaldon's book, or Gabaldon, sorry, and also Dragon Age books. Three. What are the things, places, or action giving birth, birth the Christmas mood in you? Maybe something like the Christmas street lights? Could you shoot these things and insert a video response? Hmm, what really gives me a Christmas feeling is the Christmas lights, but not really the street lights, more the... Like when I walk to my job or something and I see in the windows of people's homes where they put like their Christmas lights and everything, uh, it's like a secret code like yes we are waiting for Christmas too and I really like um, when the decoration in my home is coming up and just when all the decorations in everybody's homes coming up that gives me a really good Christmas feeling and of course the snow helps as well <laughs> well for me I never get a Christmas feeling unless there's snow out and there's like advent ca uh, candles and the uh, windows and it's kind of like dark and snow and lights and that's how I feel it but since we didn't have it this year I didn't have any Christmas spirit at all until now <laughs> <laughs> when it's already passed <laughs> we love you and wish you much warm and magic in the winter happy new year and Merry Christmas Happy New Year and Merry Christmas to you too! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so this is um, a question from Sahel Jade. Um, another year has gone by, I can't believe it. Seems like it was just yesterday you did one of these question videos. Alright, so my question is, what is your favorite game or game series? And are there any movies coming out that you're excited about? Much love. Jade. Okay, first, game series. Uh, I don't really play so much games because I never had a PlayStation or anything, so I just play through Steam and I don't have so much time to play because I have always made the, the calendar and everything, so I don't have so much time to like dig myself into games, but I play sometimes, um, but I don't really have like a favorite one. I know that the first game that really the, game, the first game series that really made me interested in games was Final Fantasy, but I have not played all of them. Uh, well, <laughs> this question is kind of for me, I feel like, because I play a lot of games, and my favorite games are definitely Dragon Age games and Mass Effect games, both Bioware, and they're awesome, I love the stories. Uh, I love, I always play the good guy, I'm sorry, I can't play the bad guy. Uh, but I love the stories, I love the characters, it's so well written, except for maybe Dragon Age 2, but... <laughs> I mean, everything else is just so wonderful, and it's really awesome, so you should play it if you haven't already. Movies that I look forward to uh, that will come soon. Uh, I have a lot of movies on my list of watching in the, in the cinema that were coming out. 
Uh, I had Star Wars before, but I have already seen Star Wars, so it's not on the list anymore, but I was very excited about that. Um, I will probably not even remember all the movies that I have on my, I want to see on my cinema list right now, but when, which, but what those I can come up with in my head right now, I want to see Tarzan, I want to see Jungle Book, I want to see Alice, uh, Alice Through the Looking Glass, I want to see um, BFG, uh, because I, I read the BFG book when I was a kid and yes, just very nostalgic. So I really want to see BFG and I also was very um, eager to see The Little Prince but it will not come to the cinema in Sweden. So I have to wait for it to come to the DVD. Uh, so yeah, but then I'm very excited to see that movie in, on DVD. <laughs> Well, I'm excited about um, Marvel movies mostly, so Captain America Civil War is coming out soon and I am so excited about it and also the Deadpool movie. Oh yeah, me Deadpool too. is pretty me awesome. Me too, me too. Yeah, so it's mostly Marvel movies that I'm looking forward to. Um, I haven't really uh, been looking at movies, it's just what I found out. And since I follow Marvel most of the time, it's mostly Marvel movies. Yeah, but I'm very excited about Deadpool as well. Yeah. It looks so awesome in the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> Next question is from Sharon the Ghoul. Can't wait until the 1st of 2016. It's good to see you again, Spacey and Unibaliton. If, <laughs> Unibaliton, <laughs> if you're re reading this. I'm reading this, but she's hearing it. Yeah. <laughs> My question is fairly simple, but I'm sure you have a great story for it. Anyway, don't you always? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a secret love for anything that you don't really tell people about? My personal love is Wayne, which is luckily, uh, lucky due to living in England, but people here seem to think Wayne is, is the same as Godzilla attacking the town or something, since everyone gets inside as quick as possible, running and screaming as little droplets of gold, cold water land on their heads. Truly strange. But anyway, I hope you have a great Christmas and enjoy your julemust, which I'm sure you can get in America from the world. Well, she doesn't really have to buy it in America because she has it here in Sweden. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have a happy new year and I look forward to seeing more of you. Okay, do you have a secret love or anything that you don't really tell people about? I have secret loves that I don't tell people about first time I meet them, but uh, I don't have any problem with being strange. So when I feel comfortable around people, uh, I can tell them pretty quickly my, my secret loves, which is like, like most of you people know, BJDs. Some people might think the dolls are very scary and strange, um, but yeah, that's uh, something that, that I really love. I love. I have a little bit of love for thunder, as long as I don't have to do something that involves electricity. Because <laughs> um, when I was a kid, my every time it was thunder out, uh, we just turn off everything like the TV and everything and we took out a game and played together as a family and that was really cozy and nice, we were all covered up in blankets so I really like thunder as long as I don't need the electricity um, I don't really come up in your every something strange right now I have many small strange things that I like that I can tell people about pretty quickly as I guess, because I don't really have any problem with being strange. Well, um, I am pretty open about a lot of things, um, and but I don't... <laughs> okay, these are things I wouldn't tell people right away when I met them, okay? So, uh, like Emma. Uh, it will be probably that I watch a lot of Korean dramas. Uh, that is sort of like soap operas and I don't know, I just love them, it's weird and it's like 
so much happening right away and they're making so many funny faces and um, it's just really weird and I love it but also I have to admit that I actually like the Barbie movies like the Christmas ghost story and uh, ballerina I don't know I like it uh, it's <laughs> it's something I wouldn't tell people really I just told you but uh, yeah <laughs> But we are all friends it's here, aren't we? kind of like uh, something that you're ashamed to tell people that you like the Barbie movies. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I would much rather tell people I like Korean dramas and dramedies more than I would say I love Barbie. <laughs> we are all friends here, so yeah. no problem. Exactly. <laughs> Change of position. Yeah. To hurt my legs. Come closer though. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay. This is from Scarf Seeker. Can you read Japanese? I'm asking this because you seem to have finished the entirety of Kazutoki uh, no Uta, and I'm kind of curious. Uh, I have read Japanese, um, the A courses uh, on university. Um, so I can read uh, hiragana and katakana and some kanji um, and I know some Japanese. <laughs> I started to read the, the untranslated uh, parts of the Kasutoki Nota, but since it was many kanjis that I didn't know, I had to struggle a bit, like I had to look up in my dictionary and stuff and it was very time assuming so I gave it, gave it up after a while, so I have not read it at all. But I know what will happen because since I'm kind of obsessed with the manga, I have seen a lot of pictures and stuff like that from the manga. And even though I didn't really want to get spoiled, I get spoiled sometimes, so I know how it will end already. But yeah, that's how I know how it ends. <laughs> I got spoiled. <laughs> All right. Uh, she I, knows Korean. So. Some Korean. Not. I mean, I'm still like in the, in the beginning. Uh, I can introduce myself, like I can say my name in Korean, and um, I know how to be honorific to people because you have. It's really important. Uh, but I also know some phrases in Japanese, and sometimes it gets kind of confusing for me. To, I mean, it's not that they're similar, it's just that my mind keeps thinking about one phrase and then I realize it's not Korean, it's Japanese. Like, sort of like that, my mind works in a weird way. We were thinking about like making a video where we combine the Japanese language and the Korean one. We don't, we don't have anything like really planned where we really know what will we do, but we have some thoughts that we should do something like that. So we'll see if we do a video like that in the future. Yeah, of 2016 maybe. Maybe. Yami and Zuru asking, if you're doing the vlog with someone, I dare you to kiss them on the cheek. If it's by yourself, I dare you to kiss Haruka on the cheek. Okay, no, 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 no. No, you can't have this music to that. No, not happen. It's not happening. Sorry. No, wrong. So wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is from Chelsea Ryan. Uh, what equipment and editing program do you use for your videos? Um, I'm using. Um... Camera-wise, I'm using Canon uh, EOS 60D uh, and I have a Rode uh, microphone <laughs> <laughs> and when I take it into my computer, I'm using Sony Vegas Pro. Alright, I don't know if I have Canon or if I have Sony. No, you have ever. Nikon. No, you have Sony. You don't yeah. have Canon. I don't you. No, yeah. you don't have Canon. Nikon or Sony? Yeah, something like that. I don't know which one. Uh, it's a real. I like the camera, at least. 
um, good. The editing program I actually got from my sisters and it's Adobe Premiere. Koneko-chan! Cute videos always! I would like to know if you still do cosplay with your sister because you don't share the videos of it anymore. And if so, what was the last one? And I'm wondering how old you guys are. <laughs> Greetings. Um, uh, we have not made cosplay together for a very long time now. Um, I still do cosplay and my last one was uh, Ariel. Um, and your last one was Elsa. Yes. From Frozen. Yes. Um, but yeah, maybe we will do something I mean, later. It was we'll kind see. of hard for us to make videos together when I was living in America and she was living here. Yes. So, um, plus I didn't have my cosplay things with me. No. So, and then before that, I had a long break. I actually thought of like discontinuing doing my cosplay. Uh, but then I rediscovered my love for it and now I'm actually planning on doing some more. But still uh, a little bit of a secret, so you don't really know it yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how old are you? I turn 29 the 26th of December. I turn 25 on August 29th. So I'm That's actually younger. Know. People usually think that you're younger than me, but it's probably because <laughs> of your personality. Probably. Yeah. So yeah, next year will be a big birthday for me. It will also, be big for me, because in 25 years I'll turn 50. <laughs> okay, so this is from X Bloody Princess 6. I love everything you do, Spacey. Love, heart. There were never a thing you do that I did not like. My questions for this year are uh, One, what did you do about your egg cracks? Did you do what I told you to do to hid them? Okay, uh, I had a video, like we have a We have a YouTube channel together, which is called Space Chapters You can click on this link here And it will take you to that channel uh, In that channel I made a video uh, where I told you guys about my time in Venice and in that video oh, this is getting so complicated mm -hmm. but in that video I, I was telling you guys that a while back my um, Russian egg if you can say that um, got cracked like it I fell it fell to the ground and turned into many pieces and I glued it together but you can still see the cracks a little bit and um, and Bloody Princess said that I should try using nail polish to uh, cover the cracks. Um, I have not done that it yet. Um, I'm thinking about uh, trying that, but I have not done that yet. All right. Uh, and the second part is, do you have a PlayStation and what are your favorite games? I don't have a PlayStation, but I would like to have one. <laughs> Like, I have a letter here on my table where it's like a text and in the end it says or oh, give me that fucking PlayStation because I have like many years since I was a kid wanting a PlayStation and I could buy it myself now but it's just like always something else that I rather want so I don't ever have like the money to spend on the PlayStation but I would like to have one. All right, I actually have been like a PlayStation fan for a really long time. So we got the first one and then we got the second one and then I got the third one and now I got the fourth one. So I've been having it for many, many years. Um, my favorite games, as I told you before, is Dragon Age series and uh, Mass Effect series. But I love lots of other games as well. Um, I actually was playing <laughs> Uh, Final Fantasy, the remake, HD remake for PlayStation 3 and I almost finished it, not quite, because I'm always like I start a game and then I stop playing it for a while and then I start again. <laughs> I can recognize myself on that because I did the same thing with, with Devil May Cry. I played it on Steam but I still 
I did the exact same thing with Devil May Cry. Yeah, and now I'm actually sort of into visual novels, so I've been playing that on the computer, not a PlayStation. Uh, so, yeah. And she also has a third question. Uh, which chocolate do you love the most? Milk chocolate, white chocolate, or dark chocolate? It's very hard because I really love all of them, but I have a really love for a mint and chocolate, like chocolate mint combined or chocolate uh, orange combined. It's like two of my most favorite things. Like if I see that, I probably buy that. For me, it's really simple. It's milk chocolate. Uh, I eat some dark chocolate sometimes, but white chocolate never because it's so sweet. Uh, but it, it's mostly like nuts and milk chocolate together. That's my favorite. Oh, and she also gives up some advice here, here in the end. Uh, I also have a small advice for you to read Angel Sanctuary Manga. I know you fall in love with it and I wonder who is your favorite once you finish reading it. Uh, yeah, I haven't read it, read it yet. Uh, I have told you before in the comments, like after you made this comment, later on I told you that... Um, so she will already know that, but you don't really know that. So I will say, say it again. I will read it and yeah, it's on my list. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reading it. <laughs> and then we have a question from Truly Silent Lie, which we know in person. Yes. Uh, oh, oh, I have a question. How have you been? So long since, I lo uh, since last I heard from you two. Now that I'm going to try to get back here on Devon and Dart, felt I should say, at least say hello. 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 It's been a while. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Well, I'm, I'm good too. I'm doing better, at least. <laughs> Look at the space chapter. Yeah, I mean, we ha I have a video there which I tell you about a situation that happened. So uh, I'm not gonna mention it here. And this one, last one is also from Exploder Princess X, and she has a question for me, uh, which is, why did you choose the nickname Death in Heaven of all names? That's my nickname in um, Devon Art. Art. And I mean, I was. Uh, Oh, and it's continues on here. What is it related to when you chose it? Actually, I mean, I was like 17 when I made uh, my Demian Dart, and you know, when you're 17, you kind of want to combine cool things. Um, I didn't think heaven was cool, but I was just like, oh, it would be so cool to be called Death in Heaven. Because, <laughs> I mean, Beyond Birthday is like totally. Uh, already taken because that was my other one that I used a lot So I guess it was just make death in heaven <laughs> You know sort of like that. It was nothing behind it at all. It was just a cool name. Yeah, I wanted to be cool uh, That's really the end of the story <laughs> um, and um, Who is your beloved character and who are the most favorite uh, five? Beloved character does not count with them. So is it like characters from anime or is it characters we cosplay? We say all. We say all. Like it can even be TV series, I think. <sighs> I'm, I'm not, uh, you were the one that asked the question, but I would just decide that it's like everything. And if yeah. it's too hard, we can just say anime. All right. <laughs> it's really hard for me because I don't have I don't know what my favorites are. Maybe I should just do Disney movies, because... Um, okay, we say Disney and anime, then. Yeah, okay. Disney and anime, we decided that now. Okay, so my favorite Disney character... <laughs> it's also very hard. Uh, <laughs> I can tell you that much that it's not a Disney princess. It's probably a Eugene. Or Flynn Rider, depending on... I can understand yeah, that. Yeah, he's pretty funny. But I like uh, love the uh, animals as well. So, I don't know. Okay, okay, I will say Flynn Rider. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, my favorite Disney. And then five. And you can't say that one again. Yeah. 
Uh, five favorite. Okay, we have Pascal. We have um, the Beast. Rapunzel is actually pretty awesome too. Um, what else? Two left. Mm -hmm. Because the anime is two. I thought we were making like five different ones. Oh! No, like one, one from Disney and one. <laughs> so it would actually okay. be like ten. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. Yes, go with it. Okay. Uh, it's not Elsa, that's for sure, because I don't really like Frozen at all. I do. Um, oh, yeah, uh, Anger. I like Anger. Uh, I know it's Pixar, but it's still like sort of Disney. Um, See. Dory. Okay. Yeah. Should I say the Disney ones and yeah. then you continue with the anime? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, my favorite Disney ones. Um, I always said Ariel, so like that has been from way back my favorite. And yeah, so I think it's Ariel still even though many other characters have come since then. But yeah, Ariel special. So Ariel, best. Uh, then five, not uh, involving Ariel. Um, and I'm not saying them in, in order now. I'm just saying them, I think. Did you say in order? No. No. <laughs> uh, mm, beauty. Beast. Um, Rapunzel. Um, so hard. I have so I many. <laughs> I have to pick just two more. I have so many more that I like. Uh, so you know, when I'm editing, edit, editing this, this thing later, thing later, I will just remember. Why did I say that? And why did I say that? No, no, no. But I, uh, I just have to live with it now. Um, Anna uh, and Mulan and fi favorite and favorite anime. <sighs> Why is this question so hard? Okay. Um, okay. Favorite. Uh, I have to look through like every single anime I've seen because I have back to the history library. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but since I actually started watching Naruto, I think I'm gonna take a character from Naruto, which is Kara, and he was always my favorite, because uh, he has such a depth to him. And now five others that isn't Kara. Kara, sorry. <laughs> ah, pasta! Ah! <laughs> Italy, of course. Um, this is not in order, just so you know. Uh, Alphonse Elric, probably. Shin from Amnesia. And not the game, the anime, of course. <laughs> and the anime game. Hmm, two left. Shoot. Uh, Rockley. And Oz Viserys. Okay. Now for me, favorite anime characters. Really, 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 really hard. Uh, favorite is Gilbert. That wasn't so hard. But now, the five tops. And then, well, yeah, the five tops that isn't Gilbert. Um, search. Then it's getting harder because. After that, I'm feeling like, this is really stupid, but I'm kind of feel like I'm choosing away some of my my babies if I don't pick them and I have only four left, so I feel really bad <laughs> to not pick some of them. Okay. Beyond Birthday. Uh, 
and I really liked cosplaying Gamsi, so I have to have Gamsi as well. Dorsel, Cheshire Cat from Pandora Hearts. Okay. I'm sorry all of you other characters that I didn't pick. <laughs> Alright, I think that was all the questions for this year. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for giving us all these awesome questions. And we had a blast trying to answer them. Yo. So, before quitting this video, we have, we can say um, how we will remember 2015 and what we look forward to 2016. Alright, I'll remember 2015 as a really hard working year. Because <laughs> uh, I was working six days a week um, and I yeah, I had some other issues as well, and then I moved back to Sweden, which was awesome. Um, but 2016 will be an awesome year. I look forward to the movies that will come out, and I look forward to um, going away on a vacation with my brother. Um, if you watch Space Shepherds, you might see more of them. Yeah. <laughs> But um, the next year is maybe the year where you're gonna take care of yourself. I already do that, but uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I will um, work hard on myself. Uh, I will. I will try to build up my confidence. Find and, happiness. Yeah, find happiness. Find, uh, think about myself for once. <laughs> and just try to enjoy life as much as possible. Um, 2015 uh, was another year when I said that I would not stress anything and but did anyway. <laughs> but also the year where it was my 10th anniversary of collecting BJDs and that was kind of awesome. Um, because I saw I bought my first BJD 2005. So, yeah. 2015 was my 10th anniversary. And I celebrated it by buying uh, other kinds of dolls that I had not collected before, if you say like that. Like uh, uh, A-Zones, um, uh, Groove Inks, Sasha dolls, uh, and a uh, YoSD, my first YoSD. I always I only had SD and MSD sizes before, but I bought my first YoSD this year. So that is how I'll remember 2015, and of course Venice, because I Venice was awesome. Uh, 2016 is the year I will promise myself again that I will not stress, <laughs> and I will have an art gallery uh, two times uh, next year. And yeah, it will be the year that I will promise myself once again that I will try to relax and take care of myself. So yeah, you write in the comments below what you, how you will remember 2015 and how you are looking forward to 2016. Yay! But now it's just only one thing left for us to do. To wish you all a Happy, Happy New, New Year! year. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody! Happy New Year! <laughs> I'm trying to do a hard body system work. <laughs>